I want to tell you a story. And while this isn't a roleplay video per se, it's about roleplay. And it's about two characters that, one of whom you have at least met briefly, and another you will learn to meet. I want to preface this by saying that while these characters are of Native American origin, and are Native American, that I've done this with the greatest respect and honour that I could afford uh, the people. I enjoy playing characters that are very different from myself and that are from different cultures because to me it's important to learn and to understand other people. Whilst I myself do not understand, not really, the struggles and tribulations of the Native American people, I'm Jewish and my own people have been through our own trials and terrors over the last several thousand years so I could appreciate it. I want to tell you today about two characters, Nita Blackrock and Ashwia Blackrock. Nita Blackrock was born in 1875. She was born of the Tongva people in what we now call San Andreas. Her parents were Luanu, Growling Bear, and Kanitio, or Beautiful Snow, her mother. The Tongva people were somewhat reclusive. However, as the gold rush arrived in San Andreas and the plains of southern San Andreas, once a bountiful hunting land, became the site of a small upstart gold town that would become known as Los Santos. The railroads followed them and the trappers, the hunters, the supplying and the miners. Well, as this time passed on, their lands became more blended and more people moved into their ancestral lands and the Tongva people withdrew to the hills. Throughout this time and after her birth, Nita longed to learn more about the greater, the great island of North America, the island of their ancestry. And as more people came in from other parts of the island, she wanted to learn more. Having learned English at a missionary school built upon their lands, ostensibly to learn the Bible, and spoken to many trappers and hunters in their territory, Nietzsche set out on a journey of exploration, a journey of self-discovery. She travelled to the five states, the location of Red Dead Redemption 2. Coming down through the Grizzlies, she first arrived in a town called Valentine, a cattle town. And whilst it was busy and muddy and full of livestock, it wasn't a final place. She eventually found herself in a town on the edge of the Great Plains called Blackwater. And it was there she met one of the Plains tribes. Nita Blackrock for me is a character I created that has not reached the end of her journey yet. I don't know it. I don't know where it will go. But it's a journey I'm enjoying exploring. Her journey, I didn't realise, was so integral to telling the story of my modern character. Because for Ashwia, who used to be called Nita, I changed her name because it's easier for me to do so in 5M, and you don't know her too well yet. Ashria Blackrock is my pilot character. She flies SWAT's helicopter. She works part-time flying the helicopter for the Fish and Wildlife Agency. And she was born on the reservation in New Austin, which is what would, I suppose, called New Mexico in real life. Ashria joined the army to leave the reservation and she entered pilot school with the US Army, exiting at the rank of warrant officer where she first blew, flew Blackhawks before joining the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, where she flew Little Birds. Ashria's character was something that I had wanted to create for a while, a Native American character, because I'd never done so before. But I never quite understood the depth of her. And it was when I joined TwitchRP's Red M server to enjoy some 
you know, Wild West role play, that I realized that not only could I play a Native American character, but there were resources there to help you do it better, to help you do it respectfully and with honor and create a character that would be believable. The whole point of roleplay is to be someone you are not. So, no offense is intended or meant by playing a character from that culture. To me, I see it as a way of learning, a pathway to understand. And one of the admins there is a Native American, and he encourages people to play characters of that background. He provides resources, others provide resources to understand what are harmful stereotypes, what is deconstructing that people, and how to better represent the truth. I'm not an expert, but I wish to learn. And for me, learning about new peoples and cultures is incredibly exciting and interesting, and I feel I have a better understanding of the world by doing so. Like I said, you know I'm English. We don't share the same relationship with that part of history as Americans do, but as I said, I'm Jewish. My people have been through our own journeys, to put it mildly, and I've always found the harmony of the Native American culture to be an incredibly important thing to me. I grew up in the countryside, and living within our environment was always important. Balance and harmony are, are central, and I suppose it always spoke to me somewhat. When it comes to Ashwia's character, though, I didn't realise why I couldn't find much depth to her to give her much personality, but it was when I realised that I needed Nita Blackrock to define her descendant. Because ancestry and history is so important to Native American cultures that it took me creating this character in 1895 to inform and to flesh out the modern character. It's a video game, and it could be skin deep, but I prefer to give things the respect and honour they deserve. And having the modern character allowed me to understand the land that Nita came from, San Andreas, to know that beyond the, the southern mountains there was a vast plain, which technically is Los Santos for us, but in, in history it would have been a wide open plain with buffalo and with, with deer and wildlife. And obviously about that time there would have been a gold town starting out that would one day become Los Santos that we know. And that I can talk of the great metal bridge built across the canyon in their lands, the Rattan Canyon Railroad Bridge. Something that would have gone up around that time. I believe the first major iron bridge in America was in the 1870s. So the timeline fits. Whilst not all of this is the correct law for the GTA universe, it's what would be. And knowing the modern land allows me to better understand where Nita came from and how she describes her homeland to people she meets in the five states. And knowing the history of Nita's journey and her living in the five states would inform Ashwia's past and what she knows and what she understands. Her name, Ashwia, meaning she who arms herself, a strong female warrior name that fits the character really, uh, once belonged to a Chorney princess uh, or daughter of a chief who was also known as Hanging Cloud, which I chose to honour by using as her call sign when she was in the military and she continues to use. It's the intertwining, the, the spider's web of history that makes these characters really belong and really f exist in a universe. Because in isolation, it's easy to create a character. I've created so many Caucasian characters. I've created Hispanic characters. Um, I've written American characters as much as I struggle to do a lot of the correct vocal inflections some have. Which is why I don't do gang RP, because I just can't do that kind of gang accent. But I've, I've got several African-American characters. I have several Hispanic characters. I have multiple Caucasian characters. I've never done a Native American character before. Because as a white person, I did not want to offend. 
but it's been in talking to people of native origin and, and native people that I've realized that what they want is the stories to be told, that the culture to be understood. So I chose to learn. I chose to take my own journey of exploration and to study and to immerse myself and to learn and understand the people because there is a lot of the spirituality and the harmony of the culture that really speaks to me. It is beautiful in its own way. What happened is horrific, let's be honest. In the world of Twitch roleplays, 5M server, the horrific things that society did to African Americans, to Native Americans, Hispanic Americans, were resolved. Uh, reparations were made. Uh, justice was served. To better allow an environment where everyone can roleplay as anybody and to not allow hate to exist in a video game world. Because that's fair. I just wish that could have happened in real life. I wish it could. But it really provides a wonderful environment to learn and to understand and to better appreciate something else that I do not know. You will learn more of Nita and Ashwir's journeys and just know that if you are Native American and I get something wrong, it's not because I am ignorant, it's because I just don't understand yet. And I'm playing these characters out of respect and out of a sense of wanting to honour a culture, a proud culture. And something that I think, well, I've no, I've rarely seen represented in, in 5M, in GTA, but was very, very happy to see that multiple tribes exist in Twitch Roleplay's Red M community. There are multiple peoples that exist in those lands. I've been lucky enough to meet one of them on the plains outside of Black Rock, uh, Blackwater, sorry, and they've been wonderful people. And every character I've met from the origin has been played with great respect and honor. As I mentioned, one of the admins there is Native American and he provides resources, he encourages, and greatly understands Native medicine. So it's a wonderful environment to to try new things. I hope I can learn a lot from it and I hope you've enjoyed this story today and you will enjoy the futures of both Nita and Ashwia. Thank you for watching. Bye.